Yang, what's going on? So the lineup just came out. Everything came out late today. And the reason why, for those of you who don't know, is they're waiting on the readings from Harrison Bader's MRI after pulling up lane with a tight hamstring last night. Okay. To decide what they were going to do correspondingly after that. So, and everything's out. And I have tonight's lineup for you too against the Santa Manus for game two. So, and then we'll post game it later on uh, and all that stuff too. But here are the moves. Okay. Frenchy Cordero came up earlier today. And he's going to be the corresponding roster move. Harrison Bader is going on the IL. It's going to be replaced by uh, French Cordero, generally uh, position for position, outfield for outfield. Okay. And they've also brought back up Jose Trevino and optioned out Ben Workfit. So that one I'm a little bit more. I would like I would like a uh, a lefty-righty catching combo. But, you know, I got to give it to Kyle Gashoka. He must be a king of timing because, and this has happened before when people are talking about, you know, optioning him out, trading him, releasing him. He goes out and bats like 700 for a week or two. And all of a sudden, <laughs> they keep him around. So he's a genius for timing, I swear, for the Yankees. So those are the roster moves right now. And I'm also hearing that uh, Tommy Canely and Josh Johnson are scheduled to come back on Friday, which is the start of the series against the Los Angeles Dodgers in L.A. So those two will be added to the roster then. Two more roster moves will happen as well. So if you're not subscribed to this channel and you want to keep following all the stuff in Yankee land, be sure to do that right now, okay? And it's just if you enjoy great Yankee content, great baseball content, please don't leave without subscribing. All right, thank you for that. And join us on the live streams and let us hear your voice and everything else. So <clears throat> give us your insight. Now, let's get to tonight's lineup versus Seattle. Glaber Torres is leading off <clears throat> second base. Aaron Judge batting second in right field. Willie Calhoun. DHing, batting third. DJ LeMahieu, batting cleanup at third base. Isaiah Kanafalefa in left field, batting fifth. Jake Bowers at first base, today batting sixth. Anthony Volpe's back in there after a day off. Shortstop, batting seventh. Uh, Jose Trevino's right back in there, right off the IL. Batting eighth, a catcher. And Greg Allen is back in there in center field with his speed and his defense, batting ninth. And on the mound, Nestor Cortez, the mustache. We need to continue to get some consistency from him. And we need that performance to add to this rotation, which is kind of wobbling right now. It's a little inconsistent. So, and um, <clears throat> so we need that. But we're getting encouraging news on Carlos Rodon, and you know Domingo Herman looked really good right off the right off the suspension list. So, things if things keep falling into place, we get more consistency, then we'll be just fine. If Rodon comes back healthy and is inconsistent, is consistent, then we'll have one of the best rotations out there, a very very formidable one again in the American League. So, but that's the lineup. Those are the roster moves. Okay, a lot more is going to be happening. As well, so but I'm going to be excited to get French Cordero back in there, Josh Johnson and uh, Giancarlo Stanton playing in, in Double A today. So Giancarlo Stanton's first game, Josh Johnson's he's got a couple. And additional prospect news: Oswald Peraz hit his fourth home run tonight in six games. He is red hot and deserves a call up too. So that's what I got for you right now. We'll see you tonight for the post game. Enjoy your dinners. See you then.